Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the six and six. All right, time for the six and six. Here's number six. There was a time when white ketchup was a popular thing. It was a big deal in the 18th and 19th centuries. Of course, you can still make it if you Google the recipe. Oh. According to an old cookbook, it was made with wine vinegar, anchovies, a sherry wine, horseradish, oh. ginger, yeah. shallots, and salt. That's just the name, a few of the ingredients. Mm. But here's the most interesting part. It was best served after being kept in a warm situation. Stop it. I'm gonna, I seriously might get sick. <laughs> warm 10 situation. Days and shaken up every day. The final product looked more like a clear liquid well, or a pale tomatoes, white. Tomatoes, though? No yeah, tomatoes? Yeah, no tomatoes, but... All right. Hmm, warm that's situation. That's I've been in one of those warm yeah, those situations. Yeah, a lot of warm situations. Let it fester for 10 days? Right. Oh, mm -hmm. now you're talking. No, How you okay. feeling? Not okay, good. Robert? Uh, number five, last week we told you about Clutter Core, people showing off all their uh, tchotchkes, yeah, yeah. knickknacks in one place from collectibles, travel souvenirs. Might have said to yourself, that's a whole lot of junk. Well, that old junk might also be worth some cash. Like According to Barron's.com, Americans have an estimated $580 billion worth of products in their homes that they are no longer using. Think about that, that's just under $5,000 per household. To break it down further, we have around 184 items in our homes that we don't use at all. So check the basement. Might be sitting on a little cash. You can sell them. All right, number four, white tanks are having a moment. Here's why. They're versatile. Mm -hmm. They go with everything from denim to sweats to skirts yep. to leather pants, just about everything else. The key is to wear them alone right now. That's right, man. And take them right into the fall with a cute blazer or a fun cardigan. Hmm. Unless you want the Prada white tank top, which looks just like the $20 tank tops, except it's $1,000. But that's worth it. Worth it for that little label in the front. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. About the label. Number three, let's talk about stoats. Their name is derived from the Dutch word for naughty. Hello. They look like they're like weasels. <laughs> uh, don't let those cute faces fool you. Stoats are aggressive, tiny invaders. They can cause serious damage to uh, new environments when they invade. Yeah, I'm happy I could still make you hat and yeah. you with my voices. I mean, all these years later. I had forgotten about your skill set, and then boom, you snuck that in there. Mm. Real fast, that was great. All right, number two, we all know Lenny Kravitz and his daughter actor Zoe Kravitz. Well, Lenny's mom and Zoe's grandma was also famous, in case you didn't know this. Roxy Roker, she was a successful actress known for her role as Helen Willis on the TV show The Jeffersons. From 1975 to 1985, that role also broke barriers as it featured the first interracial couple on primetime television. Another fun fact, today show weather person Al Roker is Roxy Roker's cousin. That wow. I did not know. A lot of talented ah. families. Cool. All right, number one. Uh, well, the secret's out. I know how much Robin just loves stuff, and who doesn't? So I signed her up for some of those bridal subscription boxes. Oh, well, what's that? Yeah, if you didn't know, these wedding-themed boxes are a really big deal right now. They're especially curated just for brides-to-be from companies with adorable names like from Miss to Mrs. Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, each box, co box contains things like mugs, which no one has enough mugs anymore, passport holders, makeup samples, and notebooks. And if you're lucky, you can get them month after month after month, yeah. even after you're married. Oh, so you're welcome. You'll be getting those in the mail. Yeah. And Paul, you're planning a huge shower, right? For, big, uh, big, it's going to be a time, yeah. blowout. All yeah. the female uh, people in the new TV news business mm -hmm. are going to be coming over to my house. It's yeah. just in a few weeks. It's going to be a blast. <laughs> We're going to bob for apples. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a fun time. Well, that's nice. Right. So Larry and Dan, and no, nobody can just come? Women only. Oh, just women only. Geez. I'm yep. a traditionalist. Yeah. So it's going to be a fun yeah. time. Mm -hmm. All right.